All right, welcome back. This is going to be chapter 9, the book of Revelation here. And this is going to give us some more scriptural support for this fire, smoke, and brimstone coming out of the mouth of the locust and also being referred to as coming out of the mouth of Leviathan in Job chapter 41, verses 1 through 34. That is going to be their false doctrine. And of course, in the previous video, we just saw how what the power of the locust have is only able to hurt those men that have not the seal of the living God in their foreheads. And I've told you that is coming down to faith, how strong your faith is, which is showing you that this is not some sort of natural disaster event in any way, that this is an ideological event. This is a philosophical event. This is a war of belief in doctrine. And I told you is what will be spewing out of their mouths as the fire, the smoke, and the brimstone which issued forth out of their mouths. So as we can see that a third part of these men, which it's just specifically targeting men, not trees, not animals, you know, that would be what radiation or any other energy blast would be. So we're dealing with a doctrine. All right, here's our scriptural support. Now, there's much more scriptural support that I can offer here, all right? But what I need to do is just focus on just a little bit here, and you can follow it up yourself once I show you where to look. This is going to be 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 2. Now, listen to what we have. We have in the later times, which is our time now, this is the great falling away or the doctrine. Listen closely. Now, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Now that is going to be those coals, that flame and that fire and that smoke and that brimstone, which is entering into their minds. As I told you, the penal gl gland, the spiritual perception. I told you here that it is going to be in the latter days. Now here's what the spirit is telling us. And that is what I'm showing you. The spirit is showing me that in latter times, some shall depart from the faith. I told you this is a war of belief. This is in reference. The seal is to your faith. Friends understand this giving heed to seducing spirits. Those are those locusts that come from the earth and then the fire, the smoke and the brimstone, my friends, is their doctrines. And of course, of the devils, which is a polyon out of the inner earth. Now, here it is, the fire, the smoke and the brimstone, which was coming out of their mouth. Here is the mouth speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared. That is the fire, the smoke and the brimstone, my friends. Now, I know that you can plainly see that. I know that you can see that now. I know it. So this is what I want you to understand now. This is who you want to research. Not this book, but this picture here. This is Inky. Remember that we have the dragon that comes out of the inner earth. He's supposed to have two horns like a lamb. There's our two horns. Remember that we said that Inky... This is Inky. Inky is Lord of the Flowing Waters. There's the Flowing Water symbol. There's our Moon symbol. This is Inky, Lord of the Flowing Waters. This seven represents Earth. We are the seventh planet counting in. So this is from their perception that they give us. This is Inky. Okay? So we have... Why is it important that Inky is this situation? Inky is the prince of this world, lord of the earth, lord of the flowing waters, lord of the abyss, lord of the inner earth. He has two horns. The Antichrist devil is prince of the world, god of the earth, associated with the age of Aquarius, the bottomless pit, the bottomless pit, two horns. It's all connected. Research these verses. That's it. Thank you.